This is a ride-on golf buggy trailer I have down in Australia. It has a loading ramp on the back and it was quite heavy so I decided to do something about making it more user friendly. I saw a site on the internet that had pictures describing how you could fit a leaf spring off a car to assist with the drop down and the loading up of the trailer ramps. So that's what I've done. So basically what you do, you get one leaf spring, which I used a quite heavy duty car one from Australian vehicle, and you mount a top mount and a pivoting bottom mount with two dropper pivots. The top mount is the part I cut off the end of the leaf spring, it's about an inch long and then it has the pivot point with a bush through it. The bottom is the bottom part of the leaf spring which now goes underneath the trailer and they're both mounted into pivot bushes. They both can swing freely but they are quite tight. The spring is attached at the front with a normal eye point. It then goes underneath the trailer and is trapped by a mounting point underneath. The leaf spring is cut off. There is no loop at the end. That goes through the two plates. One is welded onto a centre spine that I welded in the trailer underneath and it bolts together with substantial sort of bolts and lock nuts. There's a fair load as you stress it up, so you need to have this quite substantial and welded up solid. But there's nothing major mechanically, it's just a basic clamping system with four threaded bolts. There's two advantages I've found so far. The gate is self-supporting, so it doesn't try and drop down when there's no load on it, and it will just hold there while you're waiting to do things. Now as it goes down, the ramp is much lighter to drop. I can drop it down with one hand. I can lift it up quite easily with one hand. It was a two-handed operation.